Hey, yeah, it's. You know what this video is gonna be about, so let's just skip the introductory formalities and just. <laughs> Lobotomy jokes have sort of overstayed their welcome, with a lot of people moving on from them and being almost forgotten now. But I'll be honest, I still like lobotomy levels. Not only are they the result of Robtop allowing us to decorate with the difficulty faces and one man's discovery of his drawings as a six year old, it is the unanimous decision to go. I think I'll be stupid today. Compared to our humor back in 2015 to 2016, where it was basically saying we're all pine cones and swag and back on track is impossible, this is pretty much a godsend. Seeing the power of a video editor and a shit posting machine put into Geometry Dash is one hell of a vivid experience to have. But enough of that, let's not waste any more time and start talking about lobotomy levels. And if you look at how long I'm going to be talking about these levels, strap on in. Lobotomies were first performed in the 1880s to help patients with auditory illusions and schizophrenia by removing parts of their brain cortex. Whether it worked was entirely a different story. Now you might be asking, how does that relate to lobotomy levels in Geometry Dash? Fire in the hole! Okay, so let's start with the most infamous ones. Lobotomy Dash by Ghost Mickey, or at least I hope that's the original creator, is stereo madness but it has the vine boom sound effect coupled with the normal face stretched to the size of this lemon being squashed. Ever since 2.2 added the song and sound effects trigger, both of which can slow or speed up the song as well as mess with its pitch, creators have been using it to make crispy sound design, and it's the same for lobotomy levels. This level has 1 million downloads, which is a testament to how infamous these levels can really be. There's Lobotomy Madness by Sandman GD, and you'd think it'd be stereo madness but lobotomized, but... And there's like 3 more of these too, and definitely more on top of that as well. And if you thought that was it... <laughs> no. People have copied all of the main levels and turned them into something we'll be both proud of and disappointed in making after 3 years. Lobotomy on track by its quasi- This level is one hell of an epilepsy fever dream. I wouldn't be able to show this to my friends if I could. And you know what? It's not that bad. I've seen way worse. I even made worse. Every face mentioned man is kind of such a god of what I'm using this is. I'm not sure what the hell is this, but I kind of like it. And of course, I'm saying I'm going to build a dance-based background. I know it's all right. It's He also made Lobotomy Machine, and it has one of the most Chris Explosion.PNGs I've ever seen in Geometry Dash. Right up there with the second one in the 24th row in Firesheet underscore 001-UHD.PNG. Lobotomy Guys by Arazi Cube is a what-if scenario. The what-if scenario being, what if you have a war veteran and get them really into Geometry Dash? The result? Oh man, Jesus is looking kind of weird today. I should explain the reason as to why the normal face is just everywhere. It probably started from a tweet by Wid Vicky, a name nearly as unpronounceable as mine, where he found a drawing he made as a 6 to 7 year old and a normal face perplexes even scholars to this day. And so that's why Jesus looks pretty weird and why he's everywhere. Blocks? Yep. Orbs? Okay, mostly. Sorry, I just wanted you to witness that and uh, this too. The coin is in a different spot for some reason. And uh, just just give it a moment. Oh, it's Death Quarter by Chaotic Jumper. Uh, let me just fix the text in the bottom left corner. And finally, it ends with the boss fight music from the tower first floor. And, of course, shooting in the background. And so that's why G- Lobotomy Force by Rally Arc is Hexagon Force, but I think it's kind of missing something. Okay, not that- OH SHIT A JUMP BREAK! Oh, so that's what I was missing. And it has one of the funniest end screens I've ever seen. More levels should adopt this as an end screen instead of using the English alphabet. Lobotomy Toe Run by Wacky is pretty much a fever dream. I've never seen so much effort put into the dumbest stuff possible. Of course there's Sneaky Snitch by Kevin McLeod in here. McLeod? Whatever. In here, for no reason. And I robbed a helicopter from Scratch's shop and I put it to good use for about 5 seconds. Bottom text. Wacky also made Lobotomy Radio Lunacy, and it has some of the best shit posting effects I've ever seen. Sometimes it looks a lot better than some of the levels that you see in the feature tab that use the same effects. First, Saul Goodman. Uh, all of this is made with gradient triggers. And then Subway Surfer's gone horrendously sexual, and it works surprisingly well. And finally, uh, oh, whoops, uh, copyrighted.
and then Bloodbath by Wright and more. I also played two Lobotomized Deadlock levels. Lobotomy Locked by D. Cody and Lobotomy Deadlocked by Uno Moon are levels that make Deadlocked even harder than it needs to be. D. Cody tries to turn into Bloodlust by Manic648, Noble Boy, and more, but thankfully, Bloodlust was released six years ago on 20th February 2018, so we have six years of experience. Man, I don't even remember playing this level, despite knowing that I recorded this on the 21st of February. Lobotomy Processing by PS Fish 5 has the normal face follow your every movement. I died to lag and it was the funniest cut I've ever experienced. But it's not only really limited to main levels. I found Lobotomy Challenge by Virtual Dash 118, and well, you should see my experience with this level. <laughs> and since Geometry Dash was, and still is a mobile game, people have made Lobotomy ads because of course they would. This gamer has made three levels and you can hear my friends suffering in the background. Would you download Lobotomy Mafia Boss, Lobotomy Anti-Lobotomies, and Lobotomy Save the Girl? I know I wouldn't. Lobotomy City 2 by HelloGuy3953 is a mobile ad. Feel free to watch it before it finishes up. And that's about it. This is what we waited 7 years for. Hey, who said I was disappointed in this? Okay, maybe just a little. On top of that, there are levels where usually you just rate the level, like the level, do some miscellaneous tasks, Clear the level to get all those orbs and diamonds. Dude, it never works. Believe me, I keep trying. Lobotomy Lore by Zamic30 has honestly a pretty sick fire in the whole remix, but it's still brain rot. I don't think I ever cleared this level. And Lobotomy God by Enigma. God, I cannot describe the visceral feeling I get about having to like and rate the level to collect all those rewards every single time. As a marketing major, the harmless false advertising is something I'm both disappointed and in happy tears of. And the worst part is, there are like 2 of these for every 10 levels when I try to skim through lobotomy levels. Speaking of lore, this gamer again has made 6 lore levels and I'm surprised he kept it up for that long, respect to that. Even if, if they have all those level things. And okay, I might be slightly invested in this, it's too stupid not to be. Oh, ooh, it's now a showdown between the level 550 normal and the level 500 extreme demon. Oh man, I'm excited to see you lose! Shit! Oh yeah, hell yeah, now we get to celebrate and oh damn it. Lobotomy Lore 2 directly follows up with a 10 second cutscene and then a 10 year time skip. And then the 100.000 extreme demon attacks, uh, 3 decimal places by the way. Lobotomy Lore 3 is like Minecraft, mining away and then returning to base only to see it being griefed. Lobotomy Lore 4 feels a bit disconnected? The normal guy's level is reset, but the action scenes are actually pretty amazing, go give it a watch. It's the most power fuel tripped adventure I've ever seen. And Lobotomy Lore 5, Vibin's just being a dick, no reason, he just felt like it. And currently the last level, Lobotomy Lore 6, you actually get to play it, and you can tell from the sound effects. Look, sorry, when you have to escape, you're gonna have to resort to measures like these. Oh, don't worry, there's more to this, we have actual stories in Lobotomy levels. Even in a lobotomized state, they can still make you feel emotional with just difficulty faces. Lobotomy Lore by I, Moxie. It has a sex scene, and if you're watching this and you're under the age of 24... Oh, oh, just stop watching! It's very wholesome other than that. And if you thought they would live a good life... They did. And they had a kid, as indicated by the Vine Broom sound effect. Until the time skip. I don't think this ever got continued, so rip. Lobotomy Law but I'm So Casey is actually pretty emotional. Yeah, it even got to me, the guy who went through hundreds of lobotomy levels to talk about them. And yes, this has a time skip too. If you see a happy family in Geometry Dash, be prepared to see a number and a years later afterwards. The wife has cancer and the husband is dealing with it by drinking alcohol. Uh, I guess that's pretty relatable. And then, an incredibly convenient story beat happens and he's offered a job in the military. And then, he sacrifices himself and it's actually pretty well made. I can't believe I'm giving compliments to a lobotomy level. Another 20 year time skip. <coughs> First lobotomy level to have two time skips. Lobotomy no clip lore by Zamic30. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to what this is. Uh, the comments can speak for themselves, and oh yeah, there was a sequel to all those two. I can summarize Lobotomy Lore 2 by Pan Clancer in 13 words. Fire in the hole you are stupid your mum like and rate easy.
What kind of story is this? Dungeon and Dragon lore masters would be jealous of the fact that they have to make the lore all by themselves, and in Geometry Dash, we have 9,999 levels and people to do just that. Did you know there are 10 billion levels that are called Lobotomy Dash, and barely any of them are related to Dash? False advertising! Woo! Let's start with Lobotomy Dash Random by Shy Guy GMD. This is a must watch. Seriously, play this blind, it's so good, stop watching now. Saul Goodman. If you're not bothered to go check this out right now, there's voice mixing in this, like those Gmod TF2 animations, and actual animation too. It's very anime, and as an anime connoisseur seen from the Level Names episode, I appreciate it. Lobotomy Dash by Chainsaw Beats. To put it simply, you get bored. There's more to it, but that's like 20% of it. Bloodbath by, uh, no, sorry, Decode. Uh, wait, no, sorry again. Lobotomy Dash by Dag SP is another level that's actually kind of fun to play. Uh, that's my opinion on it, and I am actually serious about it. Lobotomy Dash by Heck Herps. Uh, block design is very cool. If the real world was like this, that'd be pretty neat. Lobotomy Dash by Real vs GD. I think I found this hell. Makes me feel uh, my friend thought so too. <laughs> and technically, Lobotomy Dashing by X Clause XXXZ. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Also, some lobotomy dash levels have that free stuff too, so, uh, nice. You thought this was gonna end soon? <laughs> no, there's still more levels to talk about. Lobotomy Styles by TD Chris. Uh, yeah, go watch this for yourself, especially if you don't play Geometry Dash anymore. It's the most confusing thing ever to anyone who isn't involved in the community. Lobotomy Clicker by Bagel7050 and Lobotomy Clicker by Charles should be used in schools to help teach kids about exponential growth that they can use if they decide to go to university as an engineering student. For the one by Charles, I played it for more than 7 minutes. Don't ask, it was really satisfying to see a big number go even bigger. And it was also really well made. Uh, you can see it and hear it for yourself. Lobotomy by Today has an actual lobotomy in it. Holy shit, the fog is coming! Finally, a level that doesn't have false advertising. <laughs> lobotomy After by Not A New takes place probably after that level, judging from the name. And well, it fits. It even recreates the tweet. That's how you know lobotomy levels have more plot continuity than even actual GD story levels. Lobotomy Madness by Waffle Lover 76 has a furry in it, and its shirt says Anarchy. Would you wear this shirt? Mm, debatably. It has Sneaky Snitch playing too, it, of course it does. And we shouldn't forget Thermodynamics by DJ Nate and Isolation by Nighthawk22 in there. I feel like I'm being watched while playing this, and I have a feeling it's those. It's. It's. I have a feeling it's those normal faces. And Lobotomy by The Milk Cat. I've spoken about this for 3 sentences when discussing 2 player levels, so let me shorten that down to 1. What the fuck? Uh, let's also not forget Sunshine by Unsaw, and how it's been lobotomized to the point of no thoughts head empty. Lobotomy Sunshine by Bubble FFF. It has the congregation song on top as well as the boss fight music from the tower, and at the speed of light by Dimrain47. It glitched out when I was playing, and it just made it even funnier. Lobotomy Sunshine by Ndino15 has an reverbed. And of course, Fire in the Hole. And it has that one song that I just now despise because it was so used so much back then. As well as Space Battle by F77, but that's actually a pretty good song. And then I Died at Future Funk by Jonathan GD. Lobotomy Sunshine 2 by Lucretius XDD is the most iconic. Yeah, uh, just listen and watch this. And then you get bored in the end. Uh, Lobotomy Molest by German GD. Uh, okay, just watch this in this entirety as well. Why am I attentive enough to have noticed that I've been bored more than twice today? And finally, Lobotomy Undertale by Blodge. Asgore is now the normal difficulty face. And he's a lot harder in this fight. I only play Undertale up to the first snow area, you can tell because I'm really bad. There's more levels to talk about, I did too much research. Lobotomy Dance by Stank427 uses Scheming Weasel Faster by Kevin McLeod, and the normal face just dances to it. 
Uh, if I busted out these moves at a party on a cruise, do you think they'd like it? Uh, personally, I think they would. Lobotomy boss fight by Blob T. Uh, this might actually be more fun than the boss fight in the tower purely based on irony alone. Yep, this is a fair assessment of comparison. Lobotomy Little Eye by Artemis 1200 Min. Okay, you know what this is, and I know what this is. I'm also bad at the game. Lobotomy Story Time by It's Hasty also uses the same song for like 3 seconds. It actually gets pretty creepy, but thankfully it reminds us that it's still lobotomy level when it starts playing the first few notes of the Congregation song and that one stock creepy music and at the speed of light and thermodynamics. And Lobotomy No Context by Hot Kentang. Who the hell is Steve? You Okay, we should probably take a break from all of this. I've talked about so many levels. Uh, I'll give you a breather for 10 seconds, uh, starting now. Alright, you ready? All good? Yep. Did you also know there was a creator contest held specifically to make the best lobotomy levels? The Geometry Dash Lobotomy Levels Contest announced by Angulus was announced on December 27, 2023, which is 7 days after 2.2's release date. Wait, oh wow. It has reasonable marking criteria like being original with your jokes and not saying fire in the hole more than 5 times and actual humour. If only other creator contests were as simple as this. 3 days after that, he got more than 700 submissions, which, congrats. And he had to play through all of them to glance at which ones qualified. Uh, oh god. Give his videos on it a watch since he does the job that I would do for his own contest. Now you have the opportunity to play masterpieces where you experience bullying, fatness, paracetamol, trauma, and subsequent therapy. All in the 1920s. Okay, wow, there's just too many levels to cover. Honestly, it was really fun back in its heyday. I remember VCing with a couple of my friends and just playing them off of the search tab, and I think I played like 30 to 40 levels on that one night, and it was like the most fun session I've ever had. Even if they definitely overstayed their welcome, that can go for a lot of jokes in general, especially in Geometry Dash. Water on the Hill and other quotes don't really. Uh, well, they're not really funny anymore. It's a case of everyone loving it so much they wanted to keep it going, but eventually we'll just have to move on. And now no one really ever talks about it. And that's all on lobotomy levels for now. But the, the problem is, is um, uh, how am I supposed to end this episode?